Hi guys, welcome to uh, fifth grade chapter four, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So all we're doing is we're going to be doing double and triple digit multiplication using our tic-tac-toe method, remembering to put our decimals in when we're done, okay? So we're just gonna get started with regular multiplication. I've zoomed it in quite a bit so y'all can see what I'm doing when I'm doing it in a tiny writing, okay? So six times three, 18, carry your one. 6 times 7 is 42, plus 1 more is 43. Okay, now is when you come in, you say tick, tack, toe. Okay, we do tick, we take off the number that we carried. We don't need our 6 anymore, don't want to use it again or confuse ourselves, so we mark it off and we put our placeholder 0. Okay, 9 times 3 is 27, 7 down, carry our 2. 9 times 7 is 63, plus 2 more is 65. Now we're going to add those up. Okay, so 8 plus 0 is 8, 3 plus 7 is 10, carry our 1, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 5 more is 10, carry our 1, and 1 plus 6 is 7. Now, here's the tricky part. When you come up, you went in one, two places. You have two spots that are after the decimal, so we're going to go in one, two places. 70.08. Okay. All right. Number three. Okay. You know it's going to be, it's going to look tricky because there's now three numbers up top. It's still the same process, guys. And actually, this one's less of a process because you don't have to multiply by zero. Okay. So, eight times three, 24. Eight times six, 48. Plus two is 50. Carry our five. And eight times four is 32. Plus five is 37. Now, one, Two places, one, two places, 37.04. Okay? All right. We're going to go ahead and do this one, number four. Okay? So, three times five, 15, carry our one. I'm going to make it look like a one first. Three times nine is 27, plus one more is 28. Carry our two. Three times two is six, plus two more is eight. Okay? Now we're going to go through. And we're going to tick, tack, toe, and then 1 times 29.5. It's just 2.95. Add those up. Okay? So 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 5 is 13. We're going to carry a 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. Plus 9 more is 18. Carry a 1. And 1 plus 2 is 3. Now, 1, 2 places. 1, 2 places. 38.35. Okay? You guys are going to do 5 through 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You guys are going to do. I'm going to back us up then so we can see the bigger picture now. Okay? All right. Aretha runs a marathon in 3.25 hours. Neil takes 1.6 times as long to run the same marathon. How many hours does Neil take to run the marathon? So, we have... 3.25, and we're going to multiply that. It tells you 1.6 times, okay? Multiply, okay? 6 times 5 is 30, carry our 3. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 more is 15, carry our 1. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19, okay? So now we're going to go through, and we're going to tick, tack, toe. And then 1 times 325 is 325. Add those up. Okay. We get 0. We get 10. Carry a 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 2 more is 12. Carry a 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 3 more is 5. So now this one, it went in 1, 2, 3 times. 1, 2, 3. So when you are dealing with decimals, you do not have to put in the 2 zeros after the decimal. If it was before the decimal, you would, but it is going to be after the decimal, so it's going to be 5.2, and it's being measured in hours, so make sure that you label. Okay? All right. Number 12. Tiffany catches a fish that weighs 12.3 pounds. Frank catches a fish that weighs 2.5 times as much. How much does Frank's fish weigh? So, it's telling us again what to do, okay? So I'm just gonna come on over here. 
Okay. All right. Five times three is 15, carry our one. Five times two is 10, plus one is 11, carry a one. Five plus times one is five, plus one is six. Okay. Six, check, So Two times three is six, two times two is four, and two times one is two. Add those together. Five plus zero, five. One plus six, seven. Six plus four, 10, carry a one, and one plus two, three. Now, this went in one, two places, one, two places. So 30.75 pound is being measured in pounds. Okay. All right, guys, you're going to go on to the back. And you guys are going to take care of the lesson set. And we're going to do this bar review. Okay. All right. The expression below shows a number in expanded form. What is the standard form of the number? All right. So we have 2 times 10. That's 20. Okay. Now, see how that's a 1 tenth? That's the spot that goes in the tenth spot. Well, the tenth spot is the first spot after the decimal. Okay. So that's going to be a 3 there. Tells me 3 in the 1 tenth spot. That's right there. Okay. Tells me 9 is going to go in the hundredth spot, which is right after that. And it tells me seven is going to go in the thousand spot, which is right after that. That's it, guys. Okay. Kelly buys a sweater for $16.79 and a pair of pants for $28.49. She'll pay with a $50 bill. How much change should she get back? Well, first we need to know how much she spent. So we're going to add up that $28.49 and the $16.79. Then we're going to subtract that from the $50. Okay? So 9 plus 9, 18, carry the 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 7 is 12. And drop our decimal down. 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 6, 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. So she spent $45.28. Okay, so now we're going to go through, and all those zeros can't take away real numbers. So I have to go all the way over, make that a 4, make this a 10. But I need to borrow one for this too, so I'm going to make that a 9, make that one a 10. But I need to borrow one for the last column, so I'm going to make that a 9 again, make that a 10. Now I'm done borrowing, so 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 5 is 4, and 4 minus 4 is nothing, so make sure you drop your decimal down. So she'll get $4.72 and change. Okay, your dollar sign is your word label, okay? All right. All right, guys. Oh, we love these. Okay, so you'll notice 3.72 with zero zeros. Didn't change it at all. Still 37.2. Okay. 37.2 with one zero. Moved that decimal one time. So now it's over here. Okay. With two zeros, it moved it two times. So we had to fill in a zero. So now it's right there. With three zeros, we're going to have to move that one more time. And we're going to have to put another zero on. So three. Seven, two, zero, zero, thirty-seven thousand two hundred. Okay. This one you don't need a word answer for because it is not that kind of question. Okay. What digit should go in the box to make the following statement true? So, all right. So, what number should we put right here to make this one bigger than this one? Okay. So six. Three. Well, this one has a seven right here. So if we want this num this one to be bigger, we need a number that's bigger than seven. Okay. So eight. You could also go nine. Okay. Those are the only two numbers that you could do. Okay. All right. Good job, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 4.7. Come on back for 4.8.